with the United Mine Workers to make sure that while we have climate control, we don't sacrifice jobs from the United Mine Workers. And I know when Leo Girard called me last week and said, go before the International Trade Commission to save steel workers' jobs, I was there. I used to be a lawyer in private practice. I had a high hourly rate. Leo likes my arguments, uh, only partly because my hourly rate is zero. And I'm thinking about doubling it. But I've been there across this state, backwards and forwards on the jobs issue, and I have produced and looked to see what's happening. I had a long session with Vice President Biden, a man I've gotten to know very well from a lot of long train rides. And more is coming. Stay tuned. You'll see what's going to happen with a $787 billion stimulus package that I was largely responsible for. That's what Rendell told you last night, and that happens to be the truth. And you have, you have, you have health care. And health care, health care is an issue where I'm working with President Obama. He invited me to the summit. And he invited me to the summit because of the experience I've had of 29 years on the health subcommittee. Because of the work I've done on increasing funding for the National Institutes of Health. I've had my own problems with a couple of bouts of Hodgkin's. Had chemotherapy, pretty tough regimen. Takes all your hair away. Of course, you can become a sex symbol like Joe Hoffa. <laughs> all, all, my, all my hair is back, and I'm at the top of my game, ready to continue to work for Pennsylvania. And I agree with uh, Bill George when he says if you want to be elected in this state, you have to come to labor. I yeah! know that. labor continuously, and I know that I owe my re-election in significant part to the endorsement that the AFL-CIO has given me in the past. And I, and I, I, I want to thank you for all this publicity. Well, I'm going to...